great team win for us. Uh, obviously competed really, really hard all afternoon. Uh, weren't perfect, but you know we made up for, for mistakes with how hard we played and ha how, uh, how committed guys were to winning. Um, it's great to see we needed to get that back. And uh, you know the guys obviously deserve all the credit for how hard they played. We had two guys play 40 minutes, uh, another play 37, another play 33. We're short on people. We'll get a couple back tomorrow, which should help us. But um, great to see how, how hard we played tonight, even through mistakes and then making <coughs> game-winning plays when we needed to. Uh, I mean, we uh our last two games that we, we uh our last two games that we lost, we didn't play hard. We just didn't fight. Like we just out there, just going through the motions. We just <coughs> weren't going hard. So during practice, our last practice, we changed it. You feel me? Like uh, if you're not going hard, you gotta go run. So everybody came with that mentality. We we weren't uh, showing any softness. Everybody was going hard. So. Whatever you do, just go hard. You're going to make mistakes. There's been a whole bunch of adversity that we've been facing this whole week, losing players, just things not going our way. But whatever we do, we just go hard. It don't matter the score or nothing. So that was just our mentality coming into this game. Just like the rules about surrender. Yeah, that was <laughs> <it>. <laughs> But But listen, this is, this is not about that. This is about how hard these guys played because I could do that and they could have come out today and not played to this level, that has zero to do with that. That's, to me, the expectation comes from our players. And, and obviously, I have, to, I have to make sure I'm on point with that. But the players lead how, <coughs> how we competed tonight with 17 offensive rebounds and playing through, not scoring the ball well. Like, we gave up the lead and came back. We needed game-winning rebounds. That was all these guys that did all that. So, um, you know, the practice, you could say the coaching staff, went back to sort of the basics of how we're supposed to play here at Kent and, and the players responded. Just as a team, you just kind of talk about, you know, a rough stretch here and how important this win was and how important it was to get back on the road. The game was very important. Um, you know, like you said, after the last two games that uh, we felt like we should have won, um, we kind of had to take a step back and look in the mirror and see, you know, what we had to do to, you know, change, like, the, the way things were going. Um, so we did that. I feel like um, it was just, you know, just being mentally tough, you know, just being able to play every possession, you know, with 100%. You know, I think that's what, that was why we were successful today. Um, the Mac wins are obviously all big, but you're sitting there in this situation um, after losing that one. Um, you know, was there a little extra, like, you know, you just, the pressure of just getting down to the end, it was so tight, like, you just got to find a way. I mean, was there, was there a type of deal for you just kind of thinking that way? Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, you know, that's that goes for any game. You know, you kind of just gotta find a way to win. I feel like that's what we did today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sincere. You know, our coach was saying you know a lot of things, a lot of ups and downs out there. Just kind of talk about it as a player. Um, just you know, playing through that and being the guy that has the ball in his hands at the time. And just you know, still out there and not afraid to make decisions and do whatever you need to do. Uh, I'm just trying to like stay level minded the whole game, not get too high or too low. So like, like when I picked up four fouls. I didn't like. I didn't even care about it. Like I was still just talking to my teammates, trying to make sure they're going. Like I don't care. Like I could just score zero points every night. I'm still gonna go hard and play with my teammates. I, at the end of the day, I want every every single one of us to be remembered as winners. No single stat should define us or a team. We just gonna win at the end of the day. Do you think winning a game like this can kind of help you guys? Kind of all come together. And yeah. Together? I mean, we felt we all felt it when we was in the locker room. Everybody cheering, yelling. We all hugging each other. We all it's going. It seemed more like a family. We getting back to the way it should be, the Kent culture that that Coach Sydney been preaching since day one. So you know, it, it's been like things are turning. We made a turning point tonight. Um, just talk about it being in there. Um, you end up getting the line a couple times, um, mm -hmm. especially one when you were you know, just high. Um, just kind of take the ball in and, and try to make something happen. Yeah, uh, I'm just trying to make a play, uh, hold the ball uh, to the end of the shot clock and try to make a play. I try to get my man off his feet, go strong up. I didn't get it. Uh, Malik made a good play for the offensive rebound, and it just ended up in my hand. So I went up strong, got to the free throw line where I'm comfortable at. I want to be 
in those situations every game, taking the last shot or shooting big free throws. Because I put in a lot of work, so I don't have any fear of me missing any of those shots. So. How was you and Rowan drafted by him? How did that connect up? Um, I mean, I know him. He uh, When I was up at Duquesne, he visited up here a lot, so I uh, talked to him a little bit. So he's a, he's a good player. He plays hard every night. Uh, and I just like the battle. I like going up against the best, the best teams, best player. It doesn't matter. I just want to compete at the end of the day. Um, you know, Justin just kind of talked about, you know, you were in there with his, the size kind of was extreme for you as far as matchups for him. He just kind of talked about being the guy out there with the dribble and getting everybody else and just trying to kind of find his way and, and find your way to, to be an impact. I'm sorry, can you ask the question again? Just a lot of times you're on two men who are smaller than you. They didn't have a lot of guys that were as big as you, but just, Kind of a strange deal where you're trying to figure out how to be impactful and, and in those situations. Just kind of talk about that. Well, um, you know, most in most situations, um, with most teams in the MAC, you know, I feel like I'm one of the taller guys on the court. So you know, I try to use that to my advantage. Um, like I had seven offensive rebounds today. Um, that was one of the things that I feel like you know impacted the game, and because I had a smaller guy on me, so I tried to take advantage of that. I feel like I did. All right, guys. Good All job. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Take the water. Just in general, and you mentioned what happened in practice. Um, just knowing how you guys operate and just talking about the, you know, just just kind of leaping down and fast back. Yeah. Yeah, well, look, th there's obviously no excuses for how we played over the last, you know, couple of weeks. But as you see, we, ha we have eight, ten guys there today. Maybe it was nine today. You know, it has been difficult in terms of w we've had one practice, you know, where we've had ten people since before uh, finals. Obviously, finals week is a tough week because everybody's juggling finals. Geo's out with COVID. Um, we've had other guys out. It's just been tough. And, you know, you play, uh, we, we blew the game against Southern. I mean, that, there's no excuse for that. Um, but we blew the game. We came out and really didn't play the way we need to play against Central. Again, we had seven guys at practice for each of the days leading up to that game. Um, Justin just came back the day before is when he was cleared to play five on five. He fouled out in 15 minutes against Central. Um, again, no, no excuse because the result is the result. You play the game. The guys that play have to find a way to win. And to me, the difference between tonight and, and either of those two games was the players' resolve is really what it comes down to. Um, those guys, you know, they weren't going to lose tonight. That's the bottom line. They weren't going to lose. So whatever play needed to be made or whatever it was, they were going to find a way to make it. And... You know, sometimes that's the difference between winning and losing is just the resolve of your of your players. So great job. And we need to try to build off this. Uh, clearly, you know, I, I, I've done this long enough to know that just because today was a great day doesn't mean that that, you know, we let off the gas. We lost at home to a team in our league that, you know, coming into the game, it was one in 10 and, and they beat us they beat us. They were up the entire second half. We never took the lead against them. So we have to be ready to play really, really hard every night. I, I would like to hope that tonight it, or this afternoon is, is you know, something our guys can look at and, and really build off of as we move forward. It should be, you know, again, I will make sure that I continue to, to remind these guys about the difference in feeling in the locker room and in the huddles. And, you know, it's not about what play we call. It's, it's, it's about how hard we play and how hard we compete together. So, um, you know, great job by us, our players, I should say. Toledo's a very good team, well-coached team. You know, we obviously have respect for them. And, uh, but tonight, you know, our guys really wanted to get this win, and we played that way. You know, when things weren't going well, we didn't hang our head. Um, we played like, hey, we, we, we're going to find a way to get this one tonight. Um, I know you were able to come back last game. Um, he yeah, he had a huge impact tonight. He was... You know, in the second half, I think he, he, he caused the jump ball. He caused the tie-up. You know, he, you know, is, is getting it looks. He's getting his legs back under him a little bit more healthy. Um, I thought, again, he had a huge impact for him. You know, he had, been, had not played a game 
in over a month before Central. Like I said, we did not practice five on five. I think we practiced five on five for three minutes total since coming back from Christmas. That's when he started practicing. So, you know, it's hard to get rhythm. It's hard to, to be in the flow. And, you know, we, we took uh, – you know, we took a loss against Central in, in part. I'm not saying it's the reason, but he he was a little bit behind because it's his first game playing in a month. I think as he continues to get comfortable, continues to get some reps, uh, continues to understand what we're trying to do more and more, I think he'll continue to play better and better. And I think he can be a big, you know, he can have a huge impact on our team. That's why he came here. That's why we wanted him to come here. Um, and I think as, you know, tonight he had two steals. I thought he did a great job uh, defensively when he was in on Milner. You know, had a couple touch fouls that, again, more, the more you, you know, he's, he's, a, he's played a lot of basketball, so it's not that, but game reps. He hasn't played in, in, in two games. He's played in, you know, nine months. So um, proud of his effort. And, um, you know, we got to continue to build and get better. I think a combination of both, you know, like, you know, I think a combination of both. He wants to play and he wants to be a part of the team and he, he wants to contribute. You know, that's a testament to him. Um, you know, I'd have to you'd have to ask him if he's 100 percent. I think he's getting better each day. And, um, you know, tomorrow will be an off day for him. It'll be an off day for a lot of these guys, but it'll be an off day for him. And then, you know, I'm sure he's going to be sore and, you know, he, he'll do some strengthening and stuff with our trainer. And hopefully he can get himself ready to go Monday and Tuesday and uh, continue to build off of, off of today. Because today we, we don't win. I mean, look, all of these guys, we don't win without, we, we, w without any of them. You know, we needed every one for every second they were on the court, you know, to get this win. And he had a huge impact uh, this afternoon. Seven defensive rebounds for him too, two assists. I mean, look, he's he's a good player, who's experienced, and I think just like everyone, you know, disappointed in in his individual performance and, and our team performance the last game. So, um, you know, again, not to the, the, when you're on the court, there's not an excuse, right? But same deal. He's off for ten days. We didn't practice, but three minutes full court, and then I'm putting him out there. I think he played forty minutes against uh, Central Michigan. So. Yeah, he didn't shoot the ball well, and you know, overall, he didn't play great. Um, but he's a competitive guy who's gonna, you know, get in the gym. He's gonna look at himself, say, "Okay, these are the things I need to do better." And you know, tonight again, same deal. Uh, he played. He played great. He's guarding a big physical guard, and, uh, Dennis. Thought he did a good job on him. Seven defensive rebounds, made threes. Uh, the whole deal. Uh, you know, help help run the team. Uh, the whole deal. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, it's it just a physical, tough game. You know, it, you know, making shots was not going to win this game. And and generally, Toledo is, is a is a really good offensive team. I, I'd like to think that our game plan and how we prepared had something to do with that. You know, in terms of who we had guard and how we had them guard. I'd like to think that. I'm sure they would say, "Hey, we missed some shots we normally make," and I'd say the same. We missed some shots we normally make. Two teams playing really hard. Uh, tonight we made, you know, one more play. That's the bottom line. Did a great job from the free throw line again. A couple more offensive rebounds. Um, 20 to 8 on second chance points. Big difference. Last game we got out, you know, second chance pointed. <laughs> if that's the right word. Um, and tonight we, we, we sort of flipped that. Yeah, yep. And again, I think the more you can play uh, against Toledo in the half court, you know, in terms of keeping them out of transition, uh, limiting possessions, things like that, the, the better the better you are probably against everybody, but certainly them because they have, you know, they, they play with a lot of confidence in transition. Good. Awesome, man. Happy New Year, everyone.